New Zealand is currently grappling with the aftermath of the biggest climate disaster to ever hit our country. As a result of this, many of us were without power for a considerable amount of time. This is unprecedented in our country's history. Our energy system had never faced such a major challenge. Almost 300,000 Kiwis were without power, but members of the Solar Zero community were able to keep their lights on. As the power grids in affected regions collapsed, our unique panel and battery systems powered our customers' homes, in many cases for more than a week. I didn't realise we had a power cut because I had lights. <laughs> I rang my neighbours because I've got a young baby just to make sure that did they need any resources because my microwave worked and hot coffee. Everybody needs a hot coffee and a cyclone I reckon. I just sit back and let it all happen, let the sun shine in and yeah. We have a, a, a storm and a storm of that kind of scale and we lose power but straight away the battery system kicked in. We have the kitchen, we have our office hooked up so we have like Wi-Fi, our fridge works, our lights work, we kind of keep operating. And so with the solar running through the day, the battery working at night, we just kind of sailed through it. In the lead up to the cyclone, Solar Zero teams remotely switched all systems in the North Island to maximise their ability to get through the expected power failures. Even after the storm had passed and power was starting to be restored, our systems continue to support the grid by allowing our customers to continue to use solar and battery power for several hours. As power companies start to look to the future and how they can build a more resilient grid, it is clear that solar and battery storage must be part of the solution. To make this happen, we need a robust partnership between solar providers, the government and power companies to provide for our communities as the impacts of climate change become ever more severe.